What would you say if I told you 14% of your customer orders lose money? Yes, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics this week, coming right up. So yes, up to 14% of orders could be losing money in your supply chain, customer orders that is. I've actually seen it as high as 45%. I kid you not. So the topic this week is one of my favorites, it's cost to serve. And if you are new to the topic, this is really a little bit of an introduction. So what are we talking about? How can it be that up to 14% of your customer orders are losing money? Where can that happen? Well, there's a whole bunch of reasons. Um, and you might be thinking, but surely the business knows it's happening. Well, I've been doing cost to serve studies for about 25 years now, and most businesses kind of have a little bit of an inkling that something's not quite right. When they see the results of the analysis, they are horrified initially, and then pleased that it's been identified and that they can rectify that profit leak. So why isn't it apparent? Well, most ERP systems don't actually report down to the level of product and customer profitability. That's the problem. All the costs are aggregated and we might know that an average cost for distributing an order is $30, $40, whatever it is, but it's not showing us the distribution of those orders. What's the cost for the really small orders? What's the cost for the really big orders? What's the cost as a percentage of sales? What's the cost per order line? What's the cost per each? It's the devil is in the detail. That's where all those profit losses are taking place. So you might be thinking, well, our business is a bit different and maybe we don't have this issue. What businesses tend to suffer from this issue? All businesses. So I've been working across most industries in consulting for about 25 years, and I see in every single industry that they have this particular problem. The problem's not that hard to fix, and we'll get to that in a moment. Obviously, where you are distributing a, a lot of um, you know, physical product, um, lots and lots of orders, particularly smaller orders, that's going to have a much bigger um, cost to serve issue than many other businesses. So the more orders you're shifting, the more product you're shifting, there's probably an opportunity to have a look at it and improve it. So what's the impact on a business of, of this profit leakage? You know, let, let's be conservative and say 14% of your customer orders are losing money. So it's going to be those really small orders, the one line orders, the, you know, where somebody's just ordered one of these, you know, it costs $5, costs $10 to deliver it. You know, that, that stuff's pretty obvious. Um, and the impact of all of that accumulated you know, number of orders that are losing money can be absolutely significant. Um, as I mentioned, a customer that we worked with a couple of years ago, they had actually 80% of their products losing money and they didn't know. It's absolutely incredible. So if you want to be a supply chain hero, this is absolutely something to focus on. And if you look around on the channel, you'll find at least a dozen other videos on this particular topic. Um, I've, I think I've got up here, there's like a 40 minute detailed lesson. Let's put the link to that up here, where I take you through a warehouse cost to serve study step by step. So if it's a new concept to you, if you have never really analyzed the cost to serve in your business, I implore you to have a look. So it has a massive profit impact. Um, how do you fix it? Well, uh, you could try to analyze your supply chain end to end. That would be a mammoth task. But when we do that for our consulting clients, you know, that could be a five or six month uh, project to do that because there's just so much complexity involved. There's so many moving parts, so many different functions to cost um, and ac accurately allocate costs and so on. So if you're new to it, I always suggest that you start with one little bit of your supply chain and a logical bit and an easy bit to look at is the warehouse. And that lesson that I referred to is about doing a warehouse cost to serve. So start off really simple, look at the number of orders being processed through the warehouse, look at your overall warehouse costs, and you're gonna come up with a cost per order. Then drill down a little bit, then look at the cost per order line, so not just per order. Maybe then have a look at a cost per carton, uh, cost per each, whatever's really relevant to your organization. And as you start to drill down, then maybe start to look at what's the cost per order per line per each by customer type. 
That's where you really start to peel back the layers of the onion and find the hidden gold. Because what you will find, and I will guarantee this if you've never done it before, you try to adapt that customer behavior to reduce that cost to serve. So it might be playing around with service levels. It could be playing around with minimum order quantities. All of those things will help you reduce the frequency of orders, increase the size of orders, which overall the impact will be to reduce your cost to serve per order. So that's it kind of in a nutshell. So I really just wanted to, to raise this as an issue because it's one of the biggest issues in supply chain management and it's probably one of the least understood because most reporting systems don't help you identify the problem. So please have a look if you're new to it. Um, if your business has never undertaken a cost to serve study, maybe you're going to be the hero who does it and you're going to uncover all of this profit leakage and, and you'll be well on your way to fixing it. And do have a look around the channel because there's lots and lots of other cost to serve videos. So that's my big tip for this week. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, if you enjoy this channel and you're not subscribed, why not? Do hit subscribe, do hit the bell. That way you'll be notified every time we have a new video coming out and videos come out on a Tuesday evening Sydney time. Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed and, and like and comment because I actually go back over all of the videos and I look to see you know, which ones seem to be more popular. Uh, and when we see a lot more subscriptions in a particular week, we think, oh, okay, that, that topic's going to be more popular. So it's a really a good guide for us to be able to keep producing the sort of content, sort of knowledge that, uh, that you'd like to see. So thanks for watching and see you next week.